So it's a miserable day here in southern China. In fact, we've had a typhoon warning. It's been pouring down all day. It's kind of calmed down a little bit, but rather than filming out on the street today, I'm going to go indoors and I'm going to tell you about one of China's weirdest fashion trends, the Beijing bikini. Oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt that little montage of yours over there? Well, you want me to go back to it? Yeah, no? Oh, whatever, let's just get on with the video. Beijing bikini. <laughs> now, a bunch of people noticed in my fake monk video, uh, a guy around the five minute mark, walking there with his belly stuck out and, uh, you know, his shirt rolled up to his armpits. This is actually quite common in China. In summer, you see it all over China. It's, uh, it's kind of a weird fashion trend and it's something that a lot of foreigners are kind of taken aback by because, you know, to us it's a little bit, perhaps a little bit vulgar, a little bit strange. You know, it's not normal uh, for, for people in the West to walk around like that. And even if someone's walking around with their top off, usually uh, it's seen as kind of in poor taste. Unless, of course, you're down at the beach or something. That's a completely different story. But I'm talking about in a shopping mall, in a downtown, in shopping streets, you know, in the middle of the city, in restaurants, things like that. It, it's just kind of weird to see that, usually. And in the West, we wouldn't accept that as normal, social, socially acceptable behavior. But in China, it's very normal. And in fact, I was in Beijing, as you all know, doing my scams video up there in Beijing. And I caught this wonderful clip of this uh, guy on the streets of Beijing with a Beijing bikini. Uh, I guess it, it got its name, Beijing bikini, because I suppose it was first uh, noticed a lot in Beijing by the foreigners, because there's so many foreigners in Beijing. But I can promise you that it's not, you know, uh, stuck only in the Beijing area. You will find, I should say, located in the Beijing area. You will find a Beijing bikini everywhere where it gets hot in China. And trust me, down here in southern China, the reason I'm sitting indoors right now, rather than being out on the streets, is not only is it raining with like typhoon level rain from time to time, but it's so muggy and hot and humid. So, you know, you, you're getting wet from the rain, but you're also sweating at the same time. It's a very unpleasant sort of a feeling. And so it does get incredibly hot and humid here. And uh, I guess people think that if you air out your, your belly, uh, you kind of get cool. But they have all sorts of interesting superstitions down south anyway about keeping cool in the summer. Right? There's a lot of soup that you're supposed to be able to drink to make you cool. Uh, hot soup, by the way. And, um, you know, certain medicinal teas and stuff that apparently if you drink them, you, you kind of cool your chi or your, you know, that kind of stuff. And <laughs> so I guess it's just one of those things. So this is a very short video. This video is basically just to explain to you what that is because so many people were asking me about it. It is called the Beijing Bikini. It's very socially acceptable around China. People don't frown on it. They just think it's normal. Um, from my own observations, it's usually not high class people that uh, walk around like that. You know, it's usually sort of the worker class and uh, that sort of thing. The kind of guys you see spitting on the street and picking their teeth and doing the weird stuff out in public. It's usually the kind of guys who have a a Beijing bikini or, or you know, obviously the sort of uh, triad mafia type type guys who, you know, they just, they, they don't really look very good anyway. They never have a good fashion sense. They're always kind of the same look. Big fat guy with a gold chain and uh, his stomach showing. So yeah, I guess it's kind of like a fashion trend for, for the sort of um, thuggish types. Hmm. Um, since I've got you guys here anyway, it's been a long time since I've had one of these sit down personal kind of videos with you guys you know this is a and this whole filming indoors thing i'm very much against it by the way uh, i see a lot of people who make videos overseas in in interesting countries like japan and korea and well china as well a lot of people just sit in their room you know put up a couple of decorations something interesting maybe a, a cool looking poster or you know their game collection or whatever it is behind them and they sit and make videos like this and uh I just, I find it lazy. I like the idea of going out on the streets and filming for you guys so that you guys can see 
you know, what China is really all about, because, you know, that's what my videos are about, it's China. And so that's why I don't do these kind of indoor videos often, even though it's so much easier. You don't need any confidence to sit down in front of a camera by yourself, but to walk around in public holding a camera in front of your face while everyone's staring at you. Um, <laughs> and the evil uncles are calling the, the security guards and stuff. It's a, it's a different story, but I enjoy doing it and I enjoy doing it for you guys. And I, I just hope you guys appreciate the sort of background stuff that happens in my videos. And I guess because I do that, it led to this video. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, really nothing much else for me to say about it. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and uh, I'll leave you guys with a little bit of a GDS or as we say, gratuitous drone shot. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. So until next time, guys, you know the drill. Unlike this hot, humid, rainy weather, stay awesome. I'm sorry, did I interrupt that little montage of yours over there?